on Capitol Hill this morning, right, which is this leadership ouster of Liz Cheney, the election of now her replacement in Elise Stefanik. Tell us what you're hearing from your sources. Hey, Holly. So the takedown of Representative Liz Cheney from Republican leadership is now complete. Representative Elise Stefanik overcame a last minute challenge by Representative Chip Roy of Texas, someone who is more conservative on policy than Stefanik is, someone who is upset about the coronation of Stefanik. But she beat him 134 to 46 votes. Stefanik came to the microphones after to talk to reporters, and she was right on message, talking about unity, opposing Biden, and talking about the former president. Let's take a listen. First, I wanted to thank my colleagues for the opportunity to serve as the House Republican Conference Chair. I have prioritized listening to all members of our Republican Conference, and my focus is on unity because that's what the American people and that's what our voters deserve. I also want to thank this leadership team. I look forward to working with them in partnership, shoulder to shoulder, to make sure that we are fighting on behalf of hardworking Americans. I also want to thank President Trump for his support. He is a critical part of our Republican Republican team. Uh, and of course, most importantly, I want to thank the voters of New York's 21st Congressional District, whom I'm honored to represent each and every day and fight for them. House Republicans, Hallie, have now cemented the former president as being the center, uh, once again, of the Republican Party. But as for Representative Liz Cheney, she's not going away. And she's not just talking to uh, more she's just middle of the road voters. She's also talking to those conservative voters as well. She spoke on Fox News last night. She talked to Hugh Hewitt this morning. And she also did New Hampshire media this morning. So she is determined to continue to be a loud voice within the Republican Party, Hallie.